progesterone. One hormone tells the breast, start making milk. Prolactin. So, listen, I want you to write this down. Write down breast. Breast. And I'm going to tell you what the hormones do for your breast, okay? This is the female. One, estrogen. You know what estrogen does? When you hit puberty, it causes the milk ducts to grow. You know there were milk ducts in the breast? I'm going to show you that. And two, this is the big one, it causes fat to deposit into the breast, which is responsible for your breast size. So I gotta always caution when I do this with a younger audience that if you take extra estrogen, it will not make your breast any bigger. Because the estrogen will stimulate fat growth within your genetic potential. That makes sense? Okay? Even for men, men who undergo sex change, first thing you do is you give them estrogen. It will make them breasty. Okay? How big will the breast be? They also have a genetic potential. So inside the breast, you have these groups of glands, and they make the milk if they're stimulated with the milk, and the milk can go where? Into these milk ducts and out the nipple. And if you look at a nipple with a little, not even a big magnifying glass, you will see the nipple has what? Little holes in it. Okay? And that's where each lactiferous duct enters. There's about 20 lactiferous ducts. Okay. So I get estrogen to them. What, just two things. It makes the milk ducts grow and it makes the fat grow. Here's the fat. We didn't do a lot of it, but here's the fat in the breast. What does progesterone do? That stimulates the growth of the milk glands. Makes so at puberty, remember in the second half of the cycle, a woman makes what? Estrogen and progesterone? The progesterone makes the glands grow. So far, you with me? All right. Now, what stimulates the glands? To make milk, and that is prolactin. Remember, the hypothalamus and all of us right now is making prolactin inhibiting hormone, which goes to the anterior pituitary and says, What? Don't make prolactin. But when you give birth, ladies, what happens to your estrogen and progesterone level? They drop. Hmm? They drop. Drops way down. Remember? It was the placenta making the estrogen and progesterone. And when you get a decrease in estrogen and progesterone, then what is the hypothalamus like? It makes prolactin releasing hormone and the anterior pituitary makes prolactin, which goes to the breast and tells the breast to make milk. What keeps you making milk and what makes you release milk? You know what the biggest myth is? People think that when a baby sucks on the nipple, it's sucking the milk out of the breast. No, it is not. The baby has not that kind of a vacuum. It's not an electrolyte. Here's the way you get milk. Breast, nipple, baby.
she has a neuron. A whole bunch of that. They go from the breast, where? Up the spinal cord to the hypothalamus. What is it going to stimulate? You're going to send signals to the hypothalamus to a group of neurons that go from the hypothalamus, remember this, into the pituitary. Looks familiar? That are going to release oxytocin. Oxytocin gets into the blood. Where does it go? It goes to the breast and it causes the milk ducts and glands to contract and expel milk. Because the milk ducts and the glands are surrounded by smooth muscle. And while you're at it, it also tells the hypothalamus to release prolactin releasing hormone, which also goes with to the breast and says, what? Make milk. How long will this last? As long as the baby is suffering. Average age is how long? How long do you nurse? Varies. Could be a year and a half, two years. The La Leche League, you know what they say? You could nurse, I think it's too long, five years. I think that kid is what? You know, five years old running up and he wants what? Milk for the breast. I think that's a little bit too late. But I have a picture I use in my sex class of a woman in, in uh, New Guinea from the Bumi tribe. You know what she's nursing? A little baby pig. And you say, well, what is that all about? Well, no. The mother pig died. This is a poor village. And you got a whole bunch of what? Little baby pigs? And if they grow up and become what? Big pigs. That's going to provide a lot of food. So, they have figured out that if the mother pig dies, the nurse. Oh, do you give the piggy human milk? I go, oh, really? What do you put in your coffee? Cow. Cow milk. So, if it's good enough for you to what? Drink cow milk, so why can't the little piggy drink 